Yesterday I uploaded a video, but I didn't make that video on yesterday. It was about mercy. What is it to be a human being? And how we as humanity, as a whole, have forgotten how to be a human being by actually enacting and showing mercy to others. When I started that video, I said, I hope everyone's doing well. But when I was making that video, it was one day before the Rafah bombing. What they did, what those animals, those terrorists, the Nazis of today have done to innocent civilians. So I don't hope that anyone's doing well. On the contrary, we can't be good when there are decapitated babies. They were given the rhetoric, they were given the narrative. Oh my God, 40 headless decapitated babies. When they had no evidence for it. But now they have did this. They have caused this level of corruption. And the whole world is watching. The whole world is silent. No one is doing anything. And now it's justified. Right? Now it's justified. There are certain people like that hypocrite, Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan. Who for months and months and months have endorsed genocide and massacre of innocents. Now... He's saying, oh, this is the red line. Is this, you wake up now after all this is done? Is this, is this sincerity? Are you really serious right now? You have to do more. This is not enough. This is not enough for repentance. Ironically, growing up, we were always taught about the Nazis and Hitler being the villain. Hitler was the barometer of evil and disaster and how tyranny can be. And they were right. But now you have given birth to multiple Hitlers today. It's as if Hitler came from the grave. As if he's risen, risen from his own grave. Ben, Benjamin Netanyahu is the devil incarnate. This is how evil these people are. And how ironic now. We were taught to not repeat those mistakes. And now the oppressed yesterday are oppressing humanity. Killing all of humanity today. What did Allah reveal to the children of Israel? If you kill one innocent soul. It's as if you killed all of humanity. And now we are all silent, all of humanity is dead, all of humanity has been killed, all of humanity has been massacred. This is the tragedy, this is the tragedy, and I don't know what to say, I don't know what to think, I don't know what to say. But I'll cite this, the Quran says in chapter 14, that disbelievers then threatened their messengers and prophets, saying, we will certainly expel you from our land, unless you return to our faith, our way. So their Lord revealed to them, we will surely destroy the wrongdoers, the Valimun, the oppressors, and make you reside in the land after them. This is for whoever is in awe of standing before me and fears my warning, end quote. They threaten us and they do kill us, but we will succeed them. We will destroy the wrongdoers in this world and we will not delegate it only to the hereafter, which they will be punished in the hereafter as well, God willing. The Quran further says in chapter 8 verse 73 And as for the disbelievers They are guardians of one another And unless you believers act likewise Do the same as well I.e. become guardians for one another Supporting each other There will be great corruption There will be great oppression in the land If you do not unite There will be great oppression in the land Evidently there is So then let's link this to chapter 9 verse 14 Which says fight them God will punish them, the oppressors, by your hands and will disgrace them and give you victory over them and satisfy the rest of a believing people and nation. This is the solution because people were asking, what is the solution?